What's up guys, I'm at the Chicago airport right now and I'm waiting for my uh, next flight to Turkey because I'm going there for the hair transplant. Yes, I finally took the plunge to have the courage and I finally took the plunge to actually go to, uh, to Turkey for the hair transplant. And uh, I think it's gonna be a one shot, no editing. So I'll try my best to include most of the important aspects the reasons why I'm doing this and the, cl the clinic that I'm going to. Uh, the clinic that I'm going to is HLC, which stands for Hairline Clinic. They have been in business for many years and uh, there have been some renowned um, hair transplant doctors. And I think um, this is a huge step for me and uh, there are many reasons for this. Uh, but the main primary reason that I'm trying to do this is just because I need self-confidence. I know I'm trying to attribute hair to self-confidence, but I don't think that's how people look at that. Uh, but the people who lost hair, they would be able to associate this to, uh, what, associate to what I'm going through. So I think it's mostly self-conference because for the people who know me and who have seen my shorts or like overall videos, I think I always try to cover up my hairline, the frontal hairline, um, with either a cap or a hat or something. And uh, when I'm doing that, it's kind of embarrassing for myself. Um, and also when I'm looking at that video and I look at other videos, I try to see can I actually go natural um, but then again I stop because again uh, issues with the hair loss and um, when you think about the weddings and huge these huge uh, parties that are going on I always make sure that the photographer is not behind me I always face him or her because I, I'm scared that when he or she clicks the photos or videos uh, the crown area for me which is again balded that's gonna show up and I'm always scared of that so whenever I'm in weddings I'll just try to face them so I think that's again embarrassing for me um, and I try to always always cover that up so I think these two huge things uh, mixed up with uh, my this year's huge achieve not achievement but I would say 2023's most important thing that I'm looking forward to is my uh, wedding which is probably gonna be end of August or September and uh, that's the primary reason why this is happening in my life the hair transplant uh, my parents and my girlfriend has have supported me uh, through this so they were gonna support me they said they were gonna support me otherwise meaning my natural hairline so but this is just for myself and uh, this is just for me I I know I'm attributing something which people usually don't uh, but this is how it works for me and then overall I think uh, my parents and my uh, girlfriend they didn't force me to this into this this is solely my decision so uh, I and I really appreciate their uh, love and support through all of which I've, I've been through. Uh, so I think the first, these were the reasons and I think I also want to sh share when it all started because in 2019 I went through a fat loss journey and that fat loss I think I lost about 7% of body fat. Um, I don't blame that specific so I went to kickboxing I love kickboxing in Boston so that exercises that workout and everything I don't blame that it was they were super helpful I don't I don't disagree uh, but the food recommendations that they gave were horrible and um, I just want this to go in every person's mind who has this hereditary issue or who has this hair thinning or something just the basic and you feel like you're gonna be uh, bald in few years please please don't go through these fat loss sessions uh, because they're gonna recommend less rice less carbohydrates which basically are uh, gonna reduce your fat but then 
what happened to me was I lost the basic immunity. Uh, I lost my strength, endurance, and uh, overall, uh, I did lose fat, about seven percent fat. But then at the same time, I lost uh, the major nutrients that go into uh, the hairline, and I think that's where the big bald spot came about after three months or so, and uh, my bones became weak. So all these things included, I think um, I wouldn't recommend any overall fat loss sessions to you. Um, but uh, that is what happened to me. So that's where it started, and then obviously my heredit, uh, my my dad and my grandfather, both of them uh, went bald by the age of 35, 40. And uh, I would have gone bald by 35 or 40, but uh, because of that fat loss session, um, I lost weight, but I also lost my hair. And then obviously, as an immigrant in US, you don't have um, good water supply in your bathrooms. And I think that's the biggest issue. That's a major issue that I have seen. Um, I have a friend who had pretty much no hereditary issues nothing he had a he had very good hair but overall he his hair also started thinning because it's just because of the hard water in us so i think due to these uh, multiply multiplying issues um, this is what it is like i have i've lost i've lost most of it um, i have around 5 to 6 years left so that's the reason i'm doing this and, um, and I think I also want to share quickly what basic journey that I went through in terms of choosing Turkey because uh, Turkey, the first time I heard about this was all the Hollywood and Bollywood actors, uh, they go to Turkey for hair transplant and I didn't know that. And uh, overall, um, as soon as I heard, I was like, okay, this might be just a basic news. But then I came through this uh, video from Vox. I don't know if you guys follow Vox. Uh, V-O-X. It's a YouTube channel which shows informational videos. And I think that's where uh, they showed that how huge this business is in Turkey. And that uh, and Vox is a legit channel. So then I think that's where it uh, struck that maybe this is something that I should try out. Um, and obviously 2021 and 2022 is where I've lost most of my uh, hair and and the bald and and the crown balding as well. So 2022, I started looking into this, um, and then overall, um, I wanted to give huge, huge shout out and uh, like from the bottom of my heart, thanks to the Reddit hair transplant uh, sub subreddit because that's where uh, I found most of my other brothers who are going through this. And uh, I went through that subreddit and then that's where uh, everything, all the issues, concerns, questions, um, the methods that people use and uh, the scams that might happen, how, how to choose a specific clinic and how their experiences were from the previous clinic that they went to and uh, how, to, uh, how to do the pre and post, uh, post recovery and everything. So, all these things included, I think um, sub uh, hair transplants subreddit helped me a lot, and uh, that's how. And I'll make a separate video on how to choose a doctor, how to choose the clinic, how to make sure that you're going to the right place. What are the pre and post steps? This is just day one, guys, and I'm gonna make uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna reach Turkey, and tomorrow is the first consultation session with the doctor so I'm gonna keep you guys updated uh, on day two and day three it's gonna be very busy as people say that um, you you're gonna get uh, you know anesthesia and you're gonna get uh, ibuprofen or something like that you know to um, do to take care of the pain they are basically the painkillers right so I'll try my best to update you guys on day two day three and day four uh, because this is a four day journey for me overall with the surgery and the post-op and uh, I think the overall post it takes about 
15 days of complete care and uh, I think I'll make as many videos as possible to help the other ones out uh, because that's exactly what this channel is for. Um, but uh, see you guys in day two and uh, take care. Bye bye.